models. We start with placing a model, here Victoria 4.2, on stage. Now we launch FaceAge from the Edit menu. If you use this figure for the first time in FaceAge, you will be asked to identify the surfaces, here, skin face and lips, in the geometry, here, head. Click on Save Figure Setting so that the next time you don't need to select these again. You also need to name your morph, like Old Vicky. Once you accept, face age loads. After a few moments, you'll see the head with the green dots and a guide in the upper left corner. You can zoom in and out using the middle mouse button or wheel. Your task is to move the dots to the right place. If you touch a dot, the corresponding dot on the guide lights up. This way you know which dot you are about to move. It is a good idea to rotate the head around to ensure that the dots are really where they are supposed to be. Rotating is pretty intuitive. When rotating horizontally, place the mouse on the side and move horizontally. When rotating vertically, place the mouse in the middle of the head and move it vertically. Since we are dealing with a 3D head, it is possible that a dot disappears and moves to the back of the head. We need to rotate the head around, find the dot, use the guide to identify the dot, and move it back to the right place. The dot on the tip of the nose can cause the model to turn bad. Since this dot moves the tip down, it is recommended to center it on the tip. When we are happy with the location of the dots, we can click OK. On the following screen, we see the four sliders. Let's try age. Now comes the moment of truth. Did we place the dots correctly? Ugh, I guess not. No problem. Use the reset button and it resets the head to the original. Using the dots button lets us move the dots again, especially the tip and the bridge of the nose. This time we won't move the slider quite so far to the right. When we click OK, FaceAge closes and transfers the morph back to Daz Studio. You can see that the texture changed in the process. This is due to a change in the ambient light, which we need to reset in the Skin screen under the Advanced tab. Select Skin Head and set the ambient back to zero. Do the same with the lips. Now it's time to do another morph. Reset the first morph to zero before doing a new face age morph. We launch face age again, give this second morph a different name such as weight, and pretty much follow the same routine as before.
We may move the dots differently, especially the cheeks, to influence the shape of the weight gain. Once we click OK, we are transferred back to Studio. Now we will mix and match the morphs via the sliders to get the best result. We also use the studio's base morphs to lower the eyebrows, wrinkle the nose and cheeks, and narrow the mouth to simulate the aging process. You can also use Face Shop and Face Age together to age someone using a photo. Here we have V4 on stage again and launch Face Shop first. Shop will ask for a photo, which you can crop for a close-up. The next screen will ask you to follow the guide and place the dots. The following screen will ask you to outline some features using lines. There's a very detailed how-to video to walk you through FaceShop in detail. From here on, we do much the same as before. Reset the morph to zero and launch FaceAge. We start with moving the age slider only halfway to the right. Later we can increase the aging by moving it even more to the right. Reset sliders to zero and add weight. We launch Face Age again and this time call the morph Weight. Now we can mix and match and augment with the base morphs as shown before.